what is up guys I'm Dossie here and uh, I'm gonna be showing you how to change the uh, color of your car or item or object and whatever you want to call it on Photoshop CC I have CC CS6 probably works too I I, I don't know um, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your picture picture obviously and da 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 um, go ahead gonna open it up unlock it whatever you want to do selective color okay now when you hit selected color you're gonna you're gonna see preset and colors um for the colors whatever color your car is go to colors and change it so if you change like a white it's gonna change the clouds and everything let me just show you here if you change like the white it's gonna change the clouds and everything you wanna do that um, get that nice and yeah, look at that it's gonna change everything you don't wanna do that so get the back down to zero get that down to zero okay now we're gonna go to red since my car's red. Alright, so we're gonna make this a nice purple. So lower this in yellow down. Uh, right there. Get some magenta up a little bit. Right about there. Move this down. No, move this. Yeah. Right about there. I like that color. Okay. So you can get rid of that now. Alright, now with the rest here, you're gonna get your brush tool. You wanna get. Make sure you have black and white as your colors. You're gonna to want to go right here, change the color of your brush. That's about the size here, okay. Now, if you look here, let me zoom in if you can see it. On these tires, this, these are supposed to be red, and like in the headlights and everything, they're supposed to be red. So what you do is you take your brush tool and you put up red while you're still on selected color. You take the red and you go to the black, not red, and you take the black and the brush tool when you go over top it and it takes the color off I think it took a little bit too much off there so step backwards uh, that's, that's fine alright now we're gonna brush is actually too big we're gonna take that off see that a little bit right there there okay now if you do have like a blue car and you have a pretty blue picture or gray or something your windshield you definitely want to get your windshields you want to go like up the side of it and on the top make sure you get your windshields nice and uh, paint them black with the black now if you want to put the color back on take the white and go over with white again and then so th vice versa to take that off okay so once you got that done on well, this next step two you can scroll back out okay we're gonna want to make a new layer go to our gradient tool right here alright gradient gradient whatever the freaking I could care less um okay so that you can either do if you're doing like a you can do like a storm type deal see you can like drag this down and it kinda looks like there's a storm coming in you see what I'm talking about or you can do it like that. Do it all the way around like that. I right, and then you can lower your opacity down. I don't like doing that, but I did actually too much there. So we're going to delete that layer again because I, I don't I don't want to have to delete all that. All right, so I'm going to do like a like a brief little storm here. Drag that in. Drag that in. Drag that in. A little bit too much. You're gonna get you like right spot where you like it. So kind of like that. And just barely bring that in. Bring it in. Bring this in. Bring this in. Bring this in. This in. No, that's too much. See, this is where you gotta get. You gotta get where you want it. Cause basically the whole thing here. Oh yeah, I want to make a new look, make a new cup here. I kind of like it right there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make another one. I'll go around the edges, and then I'm gonna lower the pass down the second one. Right. There. Now, I'm going to try this. So basically, we're done right here. But I'm not too sure on how to do this yet. We'll be better next time. But the filter, render, 
Lens flare. Yeah, see, this is where I get all confused. No clue I'm doing here. I did that completely wrong. I'm gonna get this one more shot because I have no clue. Oh, okay. Never mind. Yeah, I remember how to do it now. Alright, so you wanna do a screen. Then you're gonna paint it all black. So get out your brush tool again. Make it bigger. About right there. Okay. Now paint your shoot. Wrong button. Mayday. Okay, here we go. Paint your screen all black. I wanna go back to regular. Just so you can see it. Okay. Alright, go to the screen again. And then go to filter, render, lens layer. Okay, right here. Alright, so I like to put mine like right there. Okay, see what I got there? I know you can take the opacity down that. You can like right there, okay? Now see all this like it's how it's a little bit lighter. That that's how you want it to be right there. It's kinda of reflecting off the sun. Okay, so I'm gonna make another one of those. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. This time adding the exact same black. Okay. So that's just a little bit slow. Um Okay, now once you get the exact same black, go to screen. I'm gonna do this nice and fast. Filter, render, that's where. Alright, so I'm gonna take a. I'll take something like this right here. Right there, I'm gonna change that one. Okay. So now it actually kind of looks like the sun is shining. Uh, again, bring that opacity down just a tash bit. Okay, so we're getting better there. Now it's looking, it's still a little bit too bright. I'm gonna take this one down just a tash bit. And bring this one back up. Right there. That's just how I want it. Now, if you really wanted to get like technical, you could do that again. The exact same thing. But this time, if you want to have the sun like in the middle, you're going to need to do the exact same thing in the same spot type deal. It's going to be a little bit, um, if you mess up, then it's going to be noticeable. And I'm not a professional. I'm just teaching you guys how to do a simple thing um, that easy to do and looks like it's going to be harder. I don't, I don't know how to explain that, but you think about it, it's a little bit harder. I'm going to just do a lens flare here. Um, see if people to use this thing right here. And say if you want the sun in the middle, you can go like that. I don't even know where the sun's at. It doesn't even, oh, yeah, it's right there. So, I mean, you can do something like that. But, it's all totally up to you. So, if you enjoyed the video, or the tutorial, I'd like to have you leave a like on this video. And if you do think that I'm going to upload some more videos that is going to help you and educate you on Photoshop, or get you to laugh, subscribe, and, uh, until the next video, I'm going to say peace, and uh, I'm Dossie. I'm out.